Welcome back, Captains, to another Infinite Galaxy video. This is Dragothian here, and today before you, you see the newest crew member in Infinite Galaxy, Peter McConnell. I want to make a new series for this game, basically giving you a crew member spotlight for each one of the crew members that you're going to want to be using in Infinite Galaxy. The point of it is going to be breaking down in depth the skills of each crew member, how you should use them, where you should put them, whether it be as a captain or in your formation or discard. And we're going to go through all of them. We're going to go through each one so you know which one is the best to use, where to use them, and all that good stuff. So let's jump into it. First, I want to recruit Peter McConnell because, again, he was just released into the game as a viable pack um, last week into the game. And I really liked what I saw whenever he was listed on the actual crew member info panel. And so I wanted to grab him. I went ahead and grabbed him. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's hit the recruit button. Yes, I want to use those 20. Here we go. So Peter McConnell, staff officer. He is definitely heavy into the command as well as slightly into the combat um, trees here when it comes to his tech tree. So we're looking at on the left side panel there, commander or command combat. Uh, logistics and tech he's heavy heavy into command and that usually dictates the kind of skills that he's going to have and it definitely influences it first one being dispatch mastery this activates as you level him up upgrade at advanced level two now there's two different things again that you have to remember when you're talking about crew members it's their level and their advancement level so their advancement level is actually getting the crew member data cards to rank them up using those crew member data cards and then level two here you have damage strength increased attack of kinetic weapons which is a very particular type of damage in infinite galaxy and it's a very sought after one because there is no resistance to kinetic weapons so something to look into and again you have to have advanced level three now if he's designated as a captain if you put him on a flagship the same thing applies dispatch mastery however it's doubled basically so you have non-captain at starting at 82. You have captain info stating at 156. So almost double the fleet leadership limit. So increasing that total ship uh, warship count that you can bring into your fleet by almost double uh, from this particular buff anyway. And then the second one is, again, a kinetic weapon damage attack bonus, which, again, we've figured out that attack in this game is actually one of the lowest stats that you can get as an add-on for your crew members or your flagship. So something to keep in mind. Now, again, just like in the uh, the Dispatch Mastery, when we look at damage strength, it's a 9.5% damage strength if he's on your formation, but uh, jumps up to 16%. So again, almost double if you put him as a captain. So again, looking at what we've got going here, the attack bonus of 16%, the HP, the armor, the shield, heavy into HP, heavy into shield, Attack bonus of 16% is very strong for captain. And again, the crew points, the crew portion of this, we're looking at heavy crew points. We're looking at eight into command, five into tech, four into combat, and three into logistics. All those go into your panel when you're talking about your formation points. Now, which, what do I recommend we use Peter McConnell for? Well, me personally, I would use him as a captain. And the reason being, again, he has a very specific type of damage, and that's the kinetic weapon attack bonus on that second skill. When I generally refer to what I want to use for a captain, who I want to use for a captain and who I want to use for formations, I generally go for the overall overall warship bonus stuff to go towards your formation and the very specific damage types, unless you have enough um, flagships that are designated as that particular damage type across all of your fleets. I recommend the specific damage types like we have here with Peter McConnell to go towards uh, being a captain. And again, adding fleet capacity, increasing your fleet size, having the dispatch mastery be that case. And again, increasing a specific weapon type to me, to me means that he should definitely be in the captain category put him as a captain some ships that you want to make um him captain of let's go take a peek really quick and we can walk through that oh i got a nice little uh bundle as well i'm gonna get that flagship now again we've got cyclops which again the gaze of cyclops here the first skill 
type kinetic. This is a great one to go with. You could have uh, Cyclops, Captain B, uh, Peter McConnell. And again, the warship attack bonus is generic, but the type of damage that this ship does is kinetic. And again, you want to enhance those things with kinetic type outfitting slots, which is exactly what we've done. So the Cyclops is a great spot for Peter McConnell. The Brontus, same thing, kinetic damage. You want to make sure that's the case there. Uh, now, uh, the Artemis, again, another top tier flagship, um, but for frigates, same premise though, kinetic type damage bonuses are going to help this, uh, this, this ship. And I may actually, since I don't have a captain on my Artemis right now, I may actually make Peter McConnell my Artemis captain, um, which is going to be my second top tier fleet with, um, you know, either I put the Orion or I can also look into putting possibly the Poseidon or the Odysseus, depending on if I'm PVPing or not, which is what I'm always trying to do. So that's always a good thing. So again, we've got the Cyclops, the Brontus, the Artemis. This is a laser type weapon. This is another laser weapon. That's a missile weapon. This is also a kinetic. So Achilles, this is a farming ship. So gathering, you can certainly do that, but I really wouldn't put them there, even though the damage types sync up. Uh, the Jason gathering ship, Odysseus is lasers. I believe the Poseidon is also missiles. Hercules is a PVE ship. Peleus is a PVE ship. Lasers for the Hades. Um, also laser for the Hephaestus. And the Athena is also missiles. So those are the ones that I would do. So here we go. We've got, so I would put them on again, the Cyclops, the Brontus or the Artemis. And obviously the, uh, the Orion as well is the other option for you here. You can have it on the Orion as well. So those two sets of flagships, um, again, the legendary and the epic versions, that's the where that's where I would put Peter McConnell as a captain. And that's really the best way to put him. Um, in fact, I may go ahead and do that right now. Let me go ahead and place Peter McConnell on my Artemis as my captain. Um, and we can go ahead and get that ball rolling. Let's go ahead and promote him to captain. There we go. He is ready to rock and roll. We need to start leveling him up. We need to start opening more crew member citation devices, the rebel citation devices. That will be a video this week that I'll be doing, trying to get more of those unlocked. And definitely we'll be looking out for those in the shop to see if we can get some more of those ranked up because I plan on using my Artemis heavily in the Galaxy Summit events coming up against other future alliances in the game. I hope this has been helpful for you guys for trying to figure out what to do with Peter McConnell. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.